In this video, we're going to take a look through the firewall rules in WordFence security. The firewall rules generally pertain to keeping bad traffic out and away from your website. So what you can see here is a list of various rules that we can implement uh, given certain conditions. The first is an on or off rule. It is immediately block fake Google crawlers. It's turned off by default. You probably don't need to turn it on uh, because you can see that the next step in configuring the firewall is to define how you want to treat Google's crawlers. And the first option that's the default is verified Google crawlers have unlimited access to this website. And you should definitely leave that as, uh, as that because you don't actually want to compromise Google's ability to crawl your website. However, you can of course choose to change this to anyone claiming to be Google has unlimited access and to treat Google like any other crawler. We recommend leaving it on the default setting. If you change it to say anyone claiming to be Google has unlimited access, then anyone, well, anyone claiming to be Google could bombard your site uh, with hits and potentially bring it down. So we're gonna leave that on just as the default. The next six settings are about crawlers and people. And they're more or less the same. So you've got the first setting here, which is if anyone's requests exceed, uh, then you choose the amount. So you might say uh, 960 per minute, which is 16 per second. Then you can either throttle that so they get less hits on that website uh, that you're running, or you can block it completely. T entirely up to you how you choose to set that up. It's really gonna depend on the traffic you've got. Hopefully the default settings will be fine for you. But thereafter, what you can see here is the ability to really drill down based on a crawler's page views or 404s, as well as a human. So you can see you've got the same settings here where you can choose how many per minute that they're going to be requesting. And then if you'd like to throttle or block that particular individual. They're all reasonably similar though, and it's up to you to go and set those uh, as you see fit, which really brings us down to the final option here. How long is an IP address blocked when it breaks a rule? The default's five minutes. You can change this to one minute, an hour, a number of days, a month, and so on. And just when we're setting these, we need to remember that earlier, what we've done is have the settings in terms of the security level set to two, which is medium protection, which is what will generally dictate these settings here. And when you change that up and down, these will automatically reflect those changes that you've made. So hopefully that gives you an idea on the firewall rules in WordFence security and how they're used and how you can tweak them if you'd like. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask in the comments below.